as Dan Gray reports, these women chose to live a secluded life. A story about a cloistered order with a new perspective. The Passionist nuns have been living a life behind grates and curtains, separated from the physical world in St. Louis for 72 years. It is a mystery how we can live, and there are some men that live this life amongst cloistered monks. They focus on prayer and speak when only necessary. They never leave their monastery in Ellisville except for medical appointments or emergencies. Women who have spent their whole adult lives practicing social distancing. If they can thrive in a monastery, what can they teach us on how to capitalize on the time we are spending at home? I would suggest, if you can, to do some sort of exercise to get your heart pumping a little bit. Create a new routine, tackle unfinished projects, read, reconnect with family. This is not on the spiritual realm, but if you have a lot of siblings um, and you're going to be stuck inside until the end of April, I would suggest a hide go seek tournament. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of fun to me. Develop a prayer life and get to know yourself. Everybody on the earth has a God-given guardian angel, so you're not alone. Get to know that angel. <laughs> Masses and services are suspended for the time being in their chapel, but with Holy Week on the way, the Passionist nuns say they will find a way to celebrate Easter in private. In Ellisville, I'm Dan Gray. Interesting angle to the story we continue to cover. Thanks, Dan. Well, a local nonprofit.